What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Let's go and let's get it, man. I'm excited getting this. This is another throwback, y'all. Let's go and let's get it, man. We got episode 238. 238. Our boy, MT, y'all. Let's go and let's get it. I'm excited getting this. Why? Because we got Big Hustle up on deck, man. Big Hustle went to podcast and chill with our boy, Mac G. So I'm excited getting this. All the chillers, y'all told me, hey, Vern, we got to check this one out. This is another highly requested. And this one of the ones I personally wanted to get done to. So I'm excited to get this. Simple as that. So I'm about to shut up, y'all. Hope everybody having a blessed day. Hope everybody having a blessed night. Let's go. Let's get in. Let's have some fun. Hey. Where is our volume at? Sorry. We here with it. Let's go. Let's get it. Cranked up. Podcast and chill all the way from the motherland to America. South Africa, number Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special edition of Podcast and Chill. Uh, today I'm hanging out with um, one of the greatest artists yes. to ever come out of SA. This guy is like a living legend, Sol. Yes, as young as he is, yes. <laughs> this guy has gotten so many ladies wet. In the right way. Yes. <laughs> what up, MT? What up, Mac G? Yeah, what man. Up, MT, the house. How you doing, bro? I'm easy, Big dog. Hustle. I'm great, man. Dude, do you know how great you are? Like, do you know how amazing you are? Nah, I don't. I think that's the th that's the thing. For me, I choose to stay in my humble corner. You know. Mm. Yeah, I don't play my own music to myself. I find that very corny. So I only listen to my own music in the studio mm. and in my car only. So like when you did Roll Up, you never listened to it back? No, I didn't what? like Roll Up. You didn't like Roll Up? You no, kidding? Why didn't you like Roll what? Up? What? I just felt like it's an incomplete song. Yeah. I just mm -hmm. felt like there's more to say. No. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. We'll get into the music in just a short while. But I gotta tell you, the reason why I'm saying um, you got so much love, because I think you're probably the only celebrity who could kill someone, and people would still love you. You know, that's how crazy it is. Am I lying? So, no, huh? no, definitely. This guy can do. Damn, like he's just gonna put, just get right to it, huh? He said, "You the you the only nigga that can catch a body and still be loved." Like, damn, Mac. <laughs> No. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. We'll get into the music in just a short while. But I gotta tell you, the reason why I'm saying um, you got so much love, because I think you're probably the only celebrity who could kill someone, and people would still love you. You know, that's how crazy it is. Am I lying? So, no, no, definitely. This guy can do anything, bro. Yeah. I mean, he whipped out his dick. Exactly. <laughs> people saw it. Yeah. Someone had him got this so and he's still getting loud. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember I've told this story so many times on my podcast, right? Yeah. Um, there was a night, because uh, when I listen to hip hop or music in general, especially hip hop, I sure. don't really listen to the lyrics. Mm -hmm. So it's like if the beat is nice and, you know, the vibe is nice, yeah. I'm like, oh, this is a dope song, you know, sure. but I don't really go like into detail of the lyrics and whatever. Sure. So this one time, because I don't smoke weed, right? Mm -hmm. This one time, me and my baby mama, we got so high, bro. <laughs> And then we listened to Manando. Oh, yeah. My life was changed after that. Bro. <laughs> I felt like I was in the song. Mm -hmm. When you were talking about Manando, how they shot him. And I'm like, yeah. oh, so this is what he's been saying the whole time, bro. Mm -hmm. Shit, man. Do you still smoke weed? Yes, sir. But I haven't smoked in two months. Two months? Yeah. So you're not high right now? Nah. What about lean, though? You still do lean? Yeah, I've also cut down on lean two months or so. Mm. Yeah. This fucking guy I told him to bring lean so I can try it for the first time on the show. Yeah? He didn't bring the lean. Oh. I'm off for, uh, you know, until when I need it again. Yeah. For now, I don't think I need it because we locked down, man. Like, I'm mm. just at the crib. I feel like I'm just going to consume a lot of it and that's all I'm going to do. So, oh, oh, what's lean like, bro? Because uh, my my poison is, is alcohol. Mm -hmm. What's it mean like? Is it like when you're drunk or something? Nah. Hey, hey y'all, I got to pivot, man. This nigga mad questions, man. Hey, his interviews is pressure, man. He just get right to the fact. Like, he just want to know, but he just want to know. And a lot of us get, hey, it's better to find out from people that do it, that do the real. Like, you know, you pay top dollar. Get this experience from it. They're trying it ourselves, you know what I'm saying? But let's go and let's get it, man. I ain't weak, man. And hey, also, I got to pivot. I ain't no big hustle with this laid back, you know? He's just real chill, laid back voice. I thought he'd have a different type of tone when he talked, but let's go and let's get it. Yeah, I feel like... 
I'm just gonna consume a lot of <laughs> it, and that's all I'm gonna do. So, w- w- what's lean like, bro? Because uh, my my poison is is alcohol. Mm-hmm. What's lean like? Is it like when you're drunk or something? Nah, lean is like a <clears throat> it's a chill. It's like a chill pill, but it's not a pill. Oh, it's a pill. Nah, isn't it a medicine yeah. that you put in Sprite? It's a medicine, it's cough syrup. mixture. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's cough syrup. syrup. Yes, yes, yeah, syrup. Comes you down, chill. Uh, you know, perspective. Mm-hmm. Almost like weed. Ah, yeah, almost. But it's it, it's like uh, it's it's a downer, but not in a negative way yeah. whatsoever. Just depending on your consumption. Mm. Yeah. So, have you ever done like lean weed? And drink at the same time. Uh, drink as in uh, alcohol. No, I don't drink alcohol. So. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh shit! You've yeah. never had it. Uh, last time I had it was eight years ago. Wow. Yeah. You're missing, so, you're missing out, dog. I, I don't think out. I am. <laughs> and how long? How long have you been on on lean? When was the first time you you, you started or like, tried it? Think. It was 20, 2012. How old were you then? Just a year after matric, so I matriculated in 2011. Yo! No, damn no. it! Someone was 2005, chief. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 So I'm, I'm in between, you know, young and old, so I'm, I'm in those, I'm, I'm in between. Yeah. Do you still remember the first time? What did you start first, weed or lean? Weed. Do you remember the first yeah. time you smoked weed? Yeah. Hey, what was that? Really? It was dope. It was like a, a a decision I made by myself. Uh, I was still staying uh, in Soweto with my grandparents uh, and my cousins, so it was big family. So to get out of you know the whole, the house uh, atmosphere and stuff, uh, I just decided, man, one time, like, hey, I know where to buy it now, you know. I took my time with it also, which was the great thing because, you know, uh, I was being naughty number one. So I had to calculate my steps. So I went and got it. And yeah, I went and hid in a corner somewhere by myself where no one could find me. And yeah, that was my first experience with the herb and never looked back. How how was that experience, man? Because obviously you've never. Hey, let's pivot, man. Do y'all remember y'all first experience? Ain't gonna cap, man. I my first experience wasn't to go get a t-shirt. My first experience wasn't until um, high school. You know what I'm saying? I was 18. You know what I'm saying? And I just that's what it was. But y'all let me know. It was actually it was quite cool. You know what I'm saying? And been experiencing it ever since. But hey, I just say to my youngsters, wait till you get. At least um, 18, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, man, it's better than the lean, you know what I'm saying? Then you got to be 21 to condone alcohol. Probably 18 over in the middle of the way. Y'all let me know in the comments, but let's get back into this interview, y'all. I apologize. I experienced that before. I won't lie, it was weird. Like, mixed emotions. Uh, immediately, I was paranoid. Yay, that's why I don't do that. I always get paranoid, dog. <laughs> So I got paranoid, so immediately after my one-man session, I decided to walk out, and immediately when I walked out of the... Now on takealot.com. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder if we can get that over in America. I, I'm going to look it up and see. Simple as that. Trap, house, or corner, whatever I was at, I just immediately felt like everyone knows. Mm. And everyone can see, and I'm in trouble. And the next thing I was expecting was sirens mm. <laughs> to just roll up at the crib and that was it. But gracefully, you know, I'm still here and yeah. What, what age was that when you first tried it? It was, I think I was in matric. Matric. Yeah, it was after a hi. certain paper hi. that hit me hard. So. Hey, right. Hi, Jai. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, everybody. Let's go and let's get it, man. You picked this crazy t-shirt, but let's go and let's get it. (laughs) 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 This is Banito High School that you went to. Banato. Banato. How was that like? In the city. How was that like? Where's Banato? It's in the city. Mm -hmm. I thought it's in Soweto. Nah, in the city. Like for real. Oh, for sure. For real. Yeah. Damn. The greedy. 2198. Yeah. 
Two and nine, that's what you only say. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. shit. So that's where, that's where, like, my life is centered. Yeah. Yeah, Panato. I stayed there and schooled there, so, yeah, I had a great high school, it's like school, school life was dope for me. Were you performing? Were you performing well? Like, at academic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, that's why I decided to be empty the hustler, you know, and because academically I was struggling, I won't lie. Mm. Uh, I did bad, man, I did bad. But it wasn't, it wasn't because I was lazy or I didn't care. I tried, I tried by all means. It's, not, it's just not your just thing. Not your thing. Yeah, then I, I just... Hey, you hear what he said? He tried, he tried, he tried. Some of y'all that's just not giving up. Some of y'all that's being lazy and choosing to be act up, join games to my youngster. No, get your ass back at school and try, 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 try. And if school don't work, do not work out for you, figure out what your purpose is and you make sure it happened. Like MT, he became big hustler. MT the hustler because he put all his effort into his music. So put all your effort into your craft and purpose. But always try, try, try and make school number one. Got to put that out there first. Got to a point whereby, you know what, I was like, hey, you know what, there's these things that I'm good at, let me focus on them. What uh, subjects did you do? Because I know in grade 10 we had to choose subjects. Yeah, yeah. Nine, grade I nine. did grade 9, yeah? yeah. I did yeah. computer science, accounting, obviously English Afrikaans is compulsory. Sure. Right now, what, what did you do? I did English, Afrikaans, uh, geography, maths lit. Maths lit? Yeah. Oh, you just saw lit, you like, I know, this is lit. <laughs> and you know the the older kids, you know they would always say, "Yeah, it's easier, it's easier, it's better." Yeah. You know, so I'm like, hey, the easy route for me as a slow learner, I love the easy route. Yeah. So I went for maths, lit, geography, uh, what geography? physics. Yeah. Why did you choose geography, bro? Because I always kind of knew I traveled the world. Ah. ah yeah. You knew, nah. Yep. Hey, what was your favorite subject growing up? Ain't gonna cap. I can hi. Yeah, you can say hi. Hi, bye. And my favorite subject is math and uh, ain't gonna cap. It's weird, but history. History. I always had an A plus in history, man, because I figure like they say history repeats itself. So you, you figure out what history is, you figure out what this game is a lot. But let's go on, let's get it with math. I love numbers, man. I love numbers. Y'all tell, comment down what's your favorite subject. Simple as that. But I love how you said it. He knew he was gonna travel this motherfucking world. Ah, boss. Yeah. Boss. Yeah. Geography. Uh, geography. What geography. Geography. Yeah. Why did you choose geography, geography, bro? Because I always kind of knew I'd travel the world. Ah, boss. Yeah. Boss. You knew, ne? Yep. Did yeah. you pass him a trick? First time now. First oh, time you flunk. <laughs> First time. <laughs> Whoa, man. <laughs> so you did it a second time. Yeah. Dope. And you then you passed. Yeah. Nah, shut up. Do you feel as if that was that helped you in any way, or you still could have done what you've done without having to redo my trick and pass it? Well, going back. Mm. Yeah. Do you feel like attaining the qualification helped you in any way? No. Or it was useless. Nah, I did it for my, did it to please my parents. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You still play uh, basketball? Um, occasionally, just in the two, you know. Yeah, yeah, but like, not at, not like before. Yeah. Before I was hard in into basketball. Yeah. I was obsessed. Yeah. yeah. So I want to find out, like, what were you doing as a kid? Okay, so you in Bernardo High School, you go to school. Mm -hmm. uh, what were you doing, like, after that? Were you just going home? Is this when you start rapping? Is this when you start writing lyrics? What's going on? Do you just go home and chill, and watch TV? Well, you know, I, I like I liked because I was I was terrible in academics, so I liked excelling in extramurals mm. to make that up. I don't know if that, uh, you know, uh, paid off, well, it clearly did, but uh, extramurals did more for me, really, yeah. right? because I learned 
discipline through sports. Oh, which was an ah, movie. Tim G, you're not disciplined. Fuck out of here, dog. Yeah, so to go. <laughs> nah, nah, bro. Well, yeah. Studio that long, man. Really <laughs> saw this music. It takes discipline. discipline. Nah, with, the, with your scandals, nah, dog. Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah, nah. Best believe me. Yeah. Best be- discipline but hey sports do make you discipline and it's, it's structure and discipline that's come out of sports ah uh, tim g you know this and working with a team you know my bad let me take a little bit back my bad hey y'all i'm gonna shut up and let me get through this clearly did got two hours. but uh extra murals did more for me really yeah what? because what? i learned Discipline through sports. Oh, which was an extra ah, movement. Tim G, you're not disciplined. Fuck out of here, dog. Yeah, so to go. <laughs> nah, nah, bro. Well, yeah. Studio that long, man. <laughs> really saw this music. It takes discipline. discipline. Nah, with, the, with your scandals. Nah, dog. Nah, 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 nah. Best believe me. Yeah. Best believe me. I am disciplined. Uh, a lot of people might get that twisted because, you know, of things that have been said about me, but I am disciplined for sure. I mean, I gotta lead by example. I got two boys, you know, so yeah. I have to. Yeah, but into you, you out here uh, coming late for interviews, crashing cars, doing all the shit. You can't tell me like, yo, I'm, I'm leading by example, dog. Well, you know, uh, things happen. My kids have never been in the car by the grace of God while I'm, you know, yeah. in an accident. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Good. I always sort of was grateful for that. And whatever flops that I did, uh, you know, uh, fuck ups or whatever, my kids never s- witnessed it firsthand. Oh, okay. So it's always been that thing of, hey, your pops did this. But, you know, the question is if they seen it firsthand, you know. Uh, and funny enough, I'm open to my kids. Like, I, Is it? Yes. Yeah. If I mess up or anything, I go back to them and I apologize, you know. First so, and foremost. Yeah, yeah, so. Hey, empty drop a free game on us, man. First, you shouldn't be doing things in front of your kids. If you mess up and make mistakes in life, make sure it's not in front of them. Then it's fun, they suck up everything. Second, if you do make the mistakes, man, go and apologize to your kids. They're human beings, too. Simple as that, man. Let's go and let's get free game. Okay. Then I go back to them. Go ahead, say hi. Hi, bye. And, you know, uh. And funny enough, I'm open to my kids. Like, I, is it? Yes. Yeah. If I mess up or anything, I go back to them and I apologize. You know. First so, and foremost. Yeah. So that's the discipline number one. You know, and I, that that alone makes it easier for them to make uh, mistakes. Uh-huh. You know, and and make them understand that hey, it's okay to make mistakes. Come back again, and, and you know. How old are they now? Uh, Logan is three. Mm. Avery, the oldest, is five. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mine, mine is four. I got, I got a son as well. Were you in the in the room when um, your your your, your uh, girl um, gave birth? But yeah. Were you in the room? Yeah. Same. Yeah. yeah. With Logan, yeah, I was. With Avery, now. Nah, yeah. Because I was in the hustle and bustle, you know. How crazy it when the baby comes out and you yeah, just hold it in, the, in your arms and it's like... It's hey, actually a, it was one of the greatest, best experiences of my life, man, when he came out and I got the whole him. That, that is me? crazy. Yeah, you. I'm not. Yeah, when you came out of your mama's stomach, I got the whole you. It was one... It's, a, it was, it's no other... That's my favorite, my best moment in life. Yeah. Yes, that's the number one moment in life right now. All right? No, I'm not. Yeah, you. All right, no, we're back, y'all. It's B you. just happened to me in the video. He made that comment, man. And okay, I'm gonna see, yeah. Hi, bye. And I'm gonna see if I can put that vi- that picture in the, this video. I'm gonna try. With Logan, yeah, I was with Avery now. Yeah. Because I was in the hustle and bustle, you know. How crazy is it when the baby comes out and you just hold it in the, in your arms and it's like. It's Whoa. actually a dope feeling, man. I won't lie because before both my kids, uh, you know, were born, I was saving a lot. I was saving money. I was saving dog. Everything, pampas, you know, I was... Hey, I was, pampas, give my say, pa boy. Hey! Yep, that yep, thing. yep, yep, yep. So, like, I was fortunate enough to always surround myself, like, with, with OGs, you know, older cats who, you know, sort of guide me and... and, 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 and Who's that at the time? Uh, a lot of folks, man. Like, I'm from... Uh, I'm from Peria, you know. A lot happens in the hood, you know, so I always sort of found the need to always have somebody 
who's experienced these things firsthand to to actually you know ask questions and 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 get proper guidance mm-hmm. yeah because i remember when you started recording with atm like you'd find altito there yeah pro kid there For stuff sure. like that yes. with those your ogs are those the ogs you're talking about or it's other people well at the time i wish they were you know because mm-hmm. i used to just bump into them at the studio you know for me that was a big inspiration on its own mm. to say hey <clears throat> i went to the studio today i saw tito yo it was a dope thing to go back to school and tell you know oh, because shit. i was still in school when i was oh. you know on my thing like my music career started like way way you know Uh, I've always been making music, you know, in school I was leading the school band, I was the choir, you know, the choir, conducting and wow. and winning trophies and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm the best marimba player in the continent. Mm. The continent? I still am. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because I've never witnessed someone who plays it like me or better than me or better than Manando, who was the guru, you know, yeah. of Marimba. So what, what makes yeah. you say in the continent? Did you compete in a con- in continental competition? Mm-hmm. Shit. Mm-hmm. And won. Yep. And, so and say shit. I was very cocky with my Marimba skills. As soon as I walk into a place or a competition or whatever, I could just tell... By me walking in, I know what I'll come out of that competition with. So why leave it, bro? Why why did you leave it? There's no competition. Mm. There's no competition. And then why not produce? Because, because you know you you need those instruments when you. Yeah, I do occasionally produce. How is it? Oh uh, yeah. What what songs have you produced? I produce on my very own uh, album, my first album, Avery. Uh, I did. Uh, What's that song? Um, the, uh, uh, hey, I forgot the song, but yeah. Ruff helped me with it because I was just starting my uh, producing career and whatnot. So mm. I'm in there. Like now I can produce an album if you tell me to. Uh, what, what, what program do you use? Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops. Yeah. Yeah. The origin. Is it... That's crazy, man. Like niggas, like I always wanted to be. I got introduced to Fruity Loops when I was like nine, ten, man. I always wanted to be a producer. Man. I don't got the talent, but I just know when it's a banger. Yeah, I um just know when it's a banger or not, y'all. That's crazy to hear him say Fruity Loops instead of this, man. I gotta ask my best friend that do music, do Fruity Loops. I can produce an album if you tell me to. Uh, what 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 yeah. program do you use? Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it crazy when you start producing, when you hear like other songs, you can hear where the producer fucked up and you're like, ah, not this one. Yeah. It's crazy because you don't appreciate music the same. Because you're listening from a producer's yeah. ear, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So who, do you do? who do you look to? Who do you look to right now in terms of producers? Like, yeah, this guy's fire, man. Because Raph, obviously, yeah. mm-hmm. Raph number one. Raph is a god. Oh, ah, Raph. Raph is a god. Mm. Raph, of course, uh, Uh, my man, uh, Lex Luger. Lex Luger. Oh, yeah, Lex Luger. The legend. Uh, who else? Oh, Zuki, Zuchi Cook Dope? Yeah, I like Zuchi too. Zuchi Cook yeah, Zuchi is also nice. That's Shout out nigga. to him. Mac G? <coughs> yeah, you dope too. Bro. <laughs> For real. For real. <laughs> For producing podcasts, right? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> even with the even with the music, for, for real, no care. You heard my music, dog? Yeah. You're a stop guessing. Yeah. 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 I made it. Stop guessing. Interview over. Stop guessing <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> what music, what song do you know of his? There's a lot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, there isn't. <laughs> for real, bro. This man, like, when I was in high school. He laughed because he was like, it's a lot. He's like, no, nigga, I only made a few, bro. I'm weak. You know when niggas just shot He said, hold on, we gotta go all the way back to the when he said Mac G. For real. Is it good? Yeah, you know, stop guessing. Yeah. Why the fuck is I made it? Stop guessing. Interview over. Stop guessing this guy, man. <laughs> what music? What song do you know of this? There's a lot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, there isn't. <laughs> For real, bro. 
<laughs> this man, like, when I was in high school, this man was the man. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah the panty drop. Yeah, rock the gold. That's radio, mm-hmm. though. <laughs> yeah, the man. And every time you drop a song, you instantly just be, you know. I think he's, think, he thinks I'm black coffee. <laughs> No, no, no. Give me your flowers. <laughs> Accept the flowers. Yeah. You're big on flowers. It's not like you've never dropped a song. Yeah. You feel me? Speaking about songs, dog, please explain Manando, man. I felt that song till this day, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Manando, shout, uh, rest in peace, man, to my uh, big brother. Uh, <clears throat> that's one dude I look up to, even when it comes to music, because as I say, he was the guru, like of Marimba. Marimba, yeah. Yeah. So he taught me, and I knew if this guy teaches me, I'll master this thing and kill it. You know, so, and that's exactly what happened. So the product that we see now, MT, Mananda had a part to play in it. Yes, sir. What, what, what was he saying to you? What was he saying to you? He was, a, was more of a strict teacher, mm. but at the end, you'd see why, you know? When when he finished teaching you a song or whatever, whatever, with, with that we uh, task that we had to do, you would see why. And especially with uh, Marimba, mm-hmm. you just get in tune with the song. You're like, all right, bro, all right, all right, all right. I see why you was mad. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. You know, so I got to enjoy that uh, <clears throat> because of that. And um, and that's why, it's one of the reasons why I... I, I I have this discipline instilled within myself. You know, it comes from, you know, as I said, you know, uh, sports, mm, mm. basketball, soccer, marimba, choir, you know, team sport, effort, team effort, things like that. So, Manando, I mean, he, you're saying he was a very talented uh, musician via the marimba. Yeah. How does such a talented guy end up getting shot? Dead. So outside of playing the marimba, what was he in the streets that ended up with him getting shot dead? Well, you know, uh, hey, man, my dude was, my dude was a hot head, man. Mm. You couldn't really, he was a tough hole to break through, like. All right, y'all, sorry, man. V distracted me just a little bit. I got to remind him, man. Who got shot? Who got shot? Hold on. Let's take it back, let's take it back, let's take it back. Even if he saw, even if he saw, like... Let's take it back, let's take it back, sorry. Treats that ended up with him getting shot dead. Well, you know, uh, hey, man. My dude was, my dude was a hot head, man. Mm. You couldn't really, he was a tough hole to break through, like... Even if he saw, even if he saw, like... One of us, like from the same school, get bullied. He jump in and mm. save you, just because you're from the same school. And tomorrow, riot. even if you don't tap him up or whatever, it's cool. You know, Dada. just yeah, that bully knew that hey, you don't play with them boys in that red uniform. Yeah, you know, yeah. So he was a neighborhood hero, and that on that on its own comes with his with its you know. Uh, Pros and cons. You know? Some people hate you. Yeah. But would you say he was a bully? Because some people out there put him out as a bully. I stay in Hillbro. So when I listen to that song, I ask people around. They were yeah. like, ah, that's gonna be cool, bro. Serious, Manando. Yeah. <laughs> Someone was like, that guy slapped me. Till today, no one has slapped me like <laughs> Manando slapped me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So to some people, he was like a bully. Yeah. So be objective, not as in Don Ayaki. Would you say... Yes, he would cause mayhem and fuck people up in general. Not, not really, it's just, you know, a type of guy you always knew. Like when he turns the corner and he approaches you as a group of friends or whatever, you just know, like all the valuables, keep them where they are. Hide your phone? Yeah. Uh, so he was a gangster? Not really gangster, but like depending on how he feels on the day. Was he a school kid like you? Yeah, he was. So, yeah. So he it was, was just a school kid. A hot-headed school kid, yeah. but with a good heart. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. never killed like. Me. So when he... My bad, y'all. I pulled up the layers from Mandando, and he died at 20, man. That's sad, man. Rest in peace to him. Let's go on. Let's get it, man. I had to just abbreviate and get caught up.
So he was, was a school kid. A hot headed school kid, yeah. but with a good heart. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. never killed nobody. Like, I never, nah. Uh, okay. Exactly. Uh, well, not that I know of. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, yeah, he was that guy, man. I hated introducing him to new friends. Like, mm. Especially if they were from the north. Mm. Uh, hey, I like that phone, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, when he says that, I knew. <laughs> and, 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 and I tell the boy, yo, you might need to run the boy up. Man. Yeah. You know, cause, hey. So he was wild in that sense. Mm. Uh, but uh, well respected, well spoken. He was also disciplined in some what of a way. And uh, even the way he conducted himself, doing all that mayhem and stuff. Mm. He did it with some sort finesse. of honor yeah. and finesse, yeah. yeah. Is there anyone who's replaced Manando till this day? Like, because mm. it sounds to me like you really, uh, you know, you really needed his validation. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Well, I don't think today there is because I don't think there's. Uh, I can't think of anyone who killed him. He's the only guy who, who killed. Him. I'd kill. Him. Oh, that was his day one. That's Max Silly though, but that was his motherfucking right hand, left hand, his back, his right. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's gonna slide for you, man. That's sad when you, whoo, you hit her go. Think of anyone who killed him. He's the only Shit. guy who, who called. I'd kill for you, bro. Do you visit his grave? I've never. Why not? I don't know what he said. So you didn't go to the funeral? No. Was it, but you might have tried about it. Africa or Zim? Is it from Zim? Originally, yeah. So it was oh, Zim, yeah, because you're oh, yeah. not Berea, Hillbro. Oh, yeah. oh, makes sense. Yeah. But you should, man. I mean, yeah. Oh, you don't really put sentimental value on visiting graves and stuff. Ish. I don't know. I don't visit graves at all. Nah, that makes sense. I have uh, this sort of phobia, like, you know. Your parents are still both alive, no? Yeah. yeah. How is yeah. it? What, yeah. what do they say about you and it's your six right now? I don't know, cause I'm not there when they when they say these things about me. But I do know that they, you know, they very proud, and they backing me up like to the fullest. Like yeah. So yeah. how how did it come about that you were homeless, bro? I so boom. I'm in Peria, you know. Uh, grade ten or eleven. Mm. My dear, my my dad uh, loses his job, mm. decides to move back home. What my dear, what does he do? Uh, he was at Banato also. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like more it? of like ground stuff. Mm. Yeah. So he was out there too. So yeah. So he lost his job. They had to go, and they were like. Yeah, let's go. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm staying right here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm really scared of, like, any other place besides Chobel, funny enough. Mm. And other people are scared of Chobel, mm. which is fun. Get off the wire. I feel safe in Chobel. I think you like the adrenaline, man. The yeah. rush. Yeah. 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 I feel safer here. And I told them straight up, I have unfinished business here, mm. you know, and shout out to them for letting me stay. So after they left, ah, it was all, you know, trying and bumping into brick walls. So, so, so these, your parents let you stay in Joburg not knowing where you're going to stay? Well, at the time, they sort of knew where I was going to stay because I told them, like, oh, no, don't worry me, I'll, you know, ABC finessing them. All I just wanted to do was stay behind. Because the music is starting to hit yeah. home now. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Wait, so, so so when they left you, under whose roof did they leave you? No words. Wait, come on now. For real, I really had to just fend for myself after that. So they didn't know the whole picture. They didn't know what was going on. He told them, or no, listen, Kitabasha. Mm. I'll be cool. But you're a high school kid, and they don't know maybe that you you are sleeping. They don't know where you are spending your nights. That's what I'm trying to ask. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm a high school kid, but they know that I have some sort of discipline within me. I have goals. I have dreams. So they always I believe passion. in the music uh, thing. Yeah, because mm. of how I smashed the, uh, you know, uh, marimba thing. Yeah, the ah. school industry. Uh, yeah, so they were confident in me when it when it came to that. How do you meet the ATM? Because I did an interview with Java. Yeah. That he says we can't put up. Would you talk to Java there? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna holler at him. Uh, he said he did an interview with Java, then he said he can't put up. Y'all feel me in about that? What's up with that? Was it ever got put up? Did it make it to getting put up? Let me know, let me know. But I'm about to shut up and we're about to get back in there. I tried. Yes, I tried. I tried. You meet the ATM because I did an interview with Java yeah. that he says we can't put up. Would you talk to Java there? <laughs> All right, I'm a holler at him. Uh, and he said he met you at Rough Studio, and you were homeless at the time. Uh, yeah. Homeless at the time, you were sleeping at Rough Studio. Yeah. And you heard some of your um, stuff. And he's like, "Yo, this kid is dope. Who yeah. is this? You know, is that how that happened?" Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, as you said in the beginning, we used to bump into a whole lot of personalities in the studio. You know, and by God's grace, you know, uh, Rough did not just produce for me; he also supported me. You, you sort of felt for me. You know, he was there for me as a brother too, not just a producer. So uh, that's how I met Shava. Like, we were just in the studio and we made one song, we made two, three, and then that was it. What did you think of Shava when you first met him? Uh, at the time, Shava was uh, popular because of the TV series he was in, uh, Zone 14. Mm. So I uh, sort of felt comfortable around him. Not only because he was a... a, a, a oh, in that TV program or whatever, I just felt like with 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 him being there, he wasn't like the, the main guy or the, the star of the show. He was one of the soccer players, really, you know. The Tiger, Tiger soccer team, mm. so we could just get a glimpse of him. But because I was such a big fan of the show, I remember everybody's face type thing. So when I, when I saw him, I'm like, hey, that's that dude. Like, yeah, that's him. I'm like, oh, shit, what's up, man? You know? And from then on, uh, we just moved together. We shared food. We shared uh, so many things. Yeah. Clothes. Yeah. yeah. You can shit clue. Shout out to Java, aka SJ, man. Simple as that, man. For showing Big Hustle, just just showing them love, man. Simple okay. as that. And that's why we got Big Hustle music and MT today. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's bigger than you, right? <laughs> now he's bigger, yeah. Oh. Back yeah. then, we used to, like, really struggle and be skinny, so it was convenient so at no point like you guys are sharing clothes you don't have a house at no point are you like fuck this hip-hop shit i'm gonna go back to basketball let me just be the marimba player whatever like what keeps you going man yeah i almost like me i'm just grateful like I, i've been blessed with endurance like you know blessed with endurance. to withstand it. certain weather certain Circumstances, certain yes. difficulties. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. So like, whatever you throw at me, and you think you wanna break me down? <laughs> no, you know. Oh God, it's very hard. Where do you get option. that from, bro? Cause you have a kid at that time, bro, and you got a kid coming. You know, you gotta feed yeah. the family. First of all, shout out to my hometown, Matatiel. Uh, first off, I'm I'm a Kosa man. You know, so... So you circumcised, me? Eh? Yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. clean. You went yes, to the mountains? Sir. Yes, Enda, 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 Enda. I went to the Venda Mountains, so I don't know what That's you guys do there. How old are you? We late, we late. Ah, there's some clever vibes there. But not in our mountains. <laughs> How old were you? That's the most... The, 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 ask around, like, we laid down. How old when you went to the mountain, dog? Because I was 13. How old were you? I was old enough, I was above 18. Ah, how was it? Uh, it was dope, I loved it. Yeah? If I could do it again, I could. How do you guys do it? Because I think the vendor tradition is different. How do you guys do it when you go to the mountains? 
Hey, I can't give you the sauce, man. But, uh, <laughs> So if they don't have network in, in Eastern Cape, they won't see this. Can't <laughs> <laughs> do my people like that. Bro. So, so, so Avery and Logan are definitely going to the mountain. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay, their choice. Let me ask you. Do oh, it's cut, their choice. Yeah, this their choice. Do, do they cut the foreskin? How? Oh, do when you go to the mountain? Oh, I don't know. Ah, uh, what do you mean? Are you asking? Did they do they cut the foreskin? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's circumcision. Exactly. It's, I mean, that's knowledge. I think you can share that. Yeah, come on. That's man. general knowledge. So, so they cut the foreskin. No, yes. Oh, okay. And then, how long are you guys? Because we were there in the mountain for three weeks. How long were you guys there? I was there for a month and two weeks. A month. Yeah. Shh. But my people goes in. There's people who, go, who are in there for yo months. Months? Why would it take you months to get circumcised? This is like a course. Yeah. That's called a standard time. You know, like three months or whatever. Why would you wear a black Sounds like a life sentence. I'm out of foreskin to cut, man. I'm remaining. Sounds like a life sentence. Hey, cut my arm. Like, yeah, isn't there a set time? Yeah. It's different over here. Y'all want to pivot and know how things get done over in America. Um, ankle oh, cap, like, V, he was here. He was born at 7.03, 7.08 in the morning. He was, like, actually out of his mom's stomach. Right there, and he was taken care of by, like, 9 o'clock. Like, as soon as we held him, um, I cut his cord. Then the doctor, like, chipped it a little bit more, make sure it's cut perfect. They took him away. That was the only time, the crazy part is, the only time he ever had a pacifier in his mouth. Other than that, he never, for the past three years, never had a pacifier in his mouth, and he ain't never sucked on a bottle other than one week. He don't like plastic. I'd be like, it's all cool. We don't like that F shit. I mean, I was trying not to cuss him. I cuss. Sorry, y'all. We don't like that fake stuff. But, hey, y'all, let's go and let's get it. This is, this is dope. I really like this interview. I, well, I just Yeah, you can say hi. I just, hi wanted let everybody. I just wanted to let y'all know, like, how we do over in America. It's instant, so... <laughs> hey, cut my arm. <laughs> like, yeah, isn't there a set time? Yeah. It sounds like a death sentence, bro. <laughs> well, hey, man, for, 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 for me, I felt like I should just go there, do my time that's given to me. <laughs> do my time. <laughs> Make you sound like it's a prison. <laughs> But you said you enjoyed it. You yeah. said it make it sound like a prison. I time. did. Yeah. I did. All right, cool. Let, let, let's go so, back to the music. Hold on. The Logan thing. So how, so you're saying they can choose if they go or not. Yeah. But you know that in family go. gatherings, they're going to make them chill with the boys. They can't chill with the men and drink the beer with the men in family gatherings. You cool That's with that? That's the struggle. You cool with that? They're gonna have to go through that struggle. Oh, that's their they decisions don't. they made, so yeah. we'll have to live with it and yeah. the consequences. Yeah. All right. Yeah. My dog, yeah. all right. I gotta ask you this. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the music. Okay. I've interviewed so many people, I've spoken to so many people. Even my woman was there that night. Even my, uh, uh, her friend who I was trying to smash that night was there. Yeah. Like everybody was just there. Uh, celebrities. Like, dude, this was like when Kantari was at its peak. Like, fucking shit up. Mm -hmm. Please tell me what happened that night of Roll Up, first time you performed at a Kantari. Run me down through the whole story, man. Hey. Shout out to uh, my homies, man, who are a big help. Uh, sort of, it's guys who always understood my struggle, always understood what I needed during that time. So, a lot of guys were coming through, you know, uh, helping me with certain things. And one of my guys came to me and was like, hey, there's this place that's popping in four ways. No. I gotta pivot, y'all. I'm just reading the lyrics from Roll Up, Re Up, man. Crazy. Like, crazy, man. And it's just like, this nigga is so talented, man. Let's go and let's get it, man. During that time. So, a lot of guys were coming through, you know, uh, helping me with certain things. And one of my guys came to me and was like, hey, there's this place that's popping in four ways, you know. 
uh, I was like, eh, four is not. Okay, okay. Uh, like, yeah, come to, uh, come test your music. Oh, you know? I went there. Uh, somebody played the music, so I sort of seen what it what what it did to people without them knowing the face. So he played roll up. Yeah. Oh shit. So I was there, was just watching how people react to the song. You know? uh, obviously, first time, just a few head bobs, but there was a lot of like. <clears throat> this now ah, okay so i love that yeah yeah i love that like oh, let's go back to kantar and mesmerize more people oh so you played it first night didn't perform mm. oh then you yeah. went back yeah okay so now when they saw the face to the song it was like okay let's go you know so shout out to kantar man that's like where like everything sort of took off. Nah, MT, you're not doing justice, man. Please explain, bro. Please explain how when you went on stage, nobody knew that song, but they were singing the lyrics. It hadn't been on radio. You hadn't had any marketing push, but everybody was like, we want more. And they were like, repeat it again. Mm. That was amazing, man. Like, for me, I was like, ah, is this real? Like, I couldn't believe it, you know? Until, until, you know, uh, my run, my ins and outs at Kantar, you know, I was fortunate enough to bump into some good peoples there who, 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 who showed me life and showed me the way. So it was a dope feeling, man, just to, uh, and people to this day still don't believe you, man. Like, it's just one of those songs, man. Like, it was sort of like a Kantar religion type thing. When you go to Kantar, you are gonna hear a roll up for some reason, you know. And when I started performing, ah, uh, we're, we're out of here. I heard there were like three people that wanted to sign you at Kantari that night. There was Ambitious, mm -hmm. there was JR, and someone else. I forgot who yeah. the other person is. Yeah. Who was the other person? I forgot. Yeah. I can't remember. But who came up to you and said, We wanna sign you, <clears throat> apart from Ambitious? Uh, JR, yeah, JR, um, who I would have signed to because I respect him and I, and I love him, you know. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, I can't remember who else, but uh, people what? who caught my attention were the ones I focused on, really. Why didn't you sign with JR? Was he too ambitious? <laughs> <laughs> He sort of introduced me to the ambitious folks. So, so him introducing me to them for me was sort of like a, you know, come this side, boy. You know, see what's. Up so he side. fed you to the dogs, sort of. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. but I don't regret it for whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the reason I'm asking you, um, why didn't you work with Jr? Because if I'm an artist. And I see another artist who's done big things. Automatically, I just want to sign with them because at the time, ambitious was nothing. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like it's not the the beast that it is today. So why did you choose ambitious over uh, over Jr? Was it did he lack something that you didn't like? I don't know, man. I think just the name, ambitious, mm. hustler, mm. ambition, hustle. Let's go. Mm. That was it for me and. You have, for you to give yourself that name, ambitious, mm. you gotta prove to me that you really are ambitious, and they did. So, and yeah. what, what, what contract did they present to you? When yeah, they you? I can't even remember that thing, but I just wanted to get out my situation. But was the one mean. thing in the contract that stood out that they were like, maybe we'll advance you with this amount of money, or you'll drive this car? What? Yeah, it was those kind of contracts. things, man. Kind of, it was those things that were really convenient, convenient for me at the time. Mm. Because I didn't know much, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know much, really. Mm. I just knew city life, rough, my brothers. Uh, that was it. So Did you give the contract to someone else to read, or it was just you reading the contract, signing? No second opinion on it. Uh... 
I remember when I when I when I when I was going through the contract with them folks, I fell asleep in that meeting. <laughs> Yeah. For real. Yeah. Yeah. So, I was just getting bored, man. I wanted to get to the climax <laughs> of everything. Dude, you're an artist. You don't care about the business. You exactly. just want people you're to hear your it. art. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what you're there for. Yep. In hindsight, do you think you... Do you wish you had not fallen asleep in that meeting? Mm. Well, I don't regret falling asleep because that just describes my characteristic. Mm. Mm. You can't change who you are. Yeah. I just mm. wanted to get straight to the point. And we're not getting to the point, so I was just tired. And I used to sell weed, so I was, I was my penis was booming then, so. You were selling weed, dog? Yeah, Shit. I was a plug. Uh, Swazi, what boy. do you say? Yeah, it was some some nice uh, outdoor greenhouse. Outdoor. Yeah. Where would you get it from? Uh, a plug. Real proud, <laughs> very yeah, <laughs> obviously. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so you'd get it and then sell it to mm-hmm. uh, who are you selling it to? Like in, in Berea or the North Kids? Well, who uh, some North Kids, some folks I used to bump into at the studio, uh, some rappers also. Which North rappers did time. you sell to at that time? Well, rappers I used to give samples, like oh, taste my shit if you like it, hit me. Who did you who did you sample? Uh, I gave Mark's oh, sample yeah. one time, and there was a lot of other uh, upcoming rappers too. Uh, there were not, there were not much weed smokers at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bit taboo. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So there were just a few of those people who were proud, you know, stoners, mm-hmm. you know. So. I, there were just a few, and as a plug, you knew uh, how to move. You know, you just you don't just move carelessly, or move move around saying that you're selling this this shit. You know, how much would you make like a week? Hmm. Hey, man, money used to come and go so much. I can't really remember. But You've never been good with money, eh? I have. Mm. He said he saved a lot. Yeah. He saves a lot, yeah. I had, uh, I still have, like, piggy banks that I haven't touched. Shit. Shit, sir. You feel me? Yeah, so I'm big on that. Shout out to my mom. She taught me that, like, from a young age. Yeah. Yeah, so... But you so, were saying, remember, uh, before I cut you off, you said you, were, you remember when you were selling weed, what happened? Oh, uh, yeah. When I used to sell weed, I'd give, you know, rappers and sell to anyone, really. Even school kids, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but I just had to I do feed myself. Do. What about cocaine? You never sold that? Nah. I was scared. You were scared? Was scared Why, dog? It's a bigger bag, bro. No, 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 no. I'm hey. I'm scared. Oh I don't God. know, man. It's just something about keeping it natural, uh, mm. you know. Stuck with me till this day, you know. So you said you said you moved carefully. You said let's say you're selling weed now. You get to a club or a, a place. Yeah. Obviously, you're moving carefully. How do you spot the smokers, and how do they spot you? I never saw the clubs. Oh, okay. Uh, I just never liked clubs. Contacts. Yeah. Oh, I Why see. Why did you like clubs? Just a whole lot that goes down at clubs like a lot of things and And i don't want to step on toes yeah you need permission it's it's a whole controlled game Mm -hmm. in the clubs and you don't know who's running what and you're just coming there territory you know you know like in america if you're selling in one corner that's your corner and then there's another Mm -hmm. corner did you have Mm -hmm. those things yeah 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 yeah. territory yeah so what was uh, did you ever infringe in the other people's territory (laughs) no Uh, That's why I always kept it, you know, contact. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What are some of the, like, the crazy shit, like, when you were selling weed and you saw this, you're like, wow, this is like a movie, bro. Like, maybe you went to a girl and she's like, I'll suck your dick for a Mm. bag. (laughs) Has that happened? (laughs) No, no, no. 
Nah, nah, I'm Mac thankful wow. that has never happened. Uh, Mac, wow. You know, applied my discipline again, even when I was selling, mm. you know, to know, like, I always used to smoke leftovers only. Mm. After packing and packaging and weighing and all that, smoke the leftovers. So you didn't have any crazy stories of when nah, you were selling? I was disciplined while selling. That's why a lot of people still don't know that. Mm. Yeah. All right, cool. So now we're at Kantari. Yeah. Right? You can see roll up is about to be a smash. All these industry people are here. All these people want to sign you. Mm. And I know for you, you just want to take care of your kids. You don't mm. really care about all this nonsense. Yeah. Uh, Ambitious comes, they sign you. What goes wrong with Ambitious? Everything was cool, man. I won't lie. Everything was cool. Very cool. For me, it just started going downhill when, you know, uh, certain things were being said and then you go and ask the, what? The Label head. PR or the mm. public relations people, right? Mm. Mm. What they're saying about me, what do you have to say? Mm. <laughs> mm. Like, okay. Right, and then uh, for me, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a patient person. So yeah. uh, uh, when something happens, I don't react immediately. I let it uh, take I let, your time. Yeah. yeah. If it happens again, I'll read. I'll read it again in another way. Which which yeah. headlines were these that that, that tick you off? Uh, like uh, oh yeah, it started with uh, folks saying hey, me I bought awards, this that and the third. So I go back to him like, hey, you know I don't have money to play like that. <laughs> what do you have to say, like you know? What's up with this buying awards thing? I don't even know what that's about. You know, uh, I just work hard in my craft and get the results. So they, they, they ain't had much to say about it. Then more headlines started coming out. You know, sometimes you, you, you ask certain questions just for... Hey, my leader, we're recording, Chief. Please, can you keep quiet? We're recording. Thank you. Uh, so you go. That's how I be feeling with V three. To certain people, or you know, for 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 validation. Mm. Uh, just, just so you are, you know, clean with with your conscience, and you. You are clean with how people within your team feel about you, you know. So when I got to digging deep into that, like how to, okay, I see the world loves me, mm. okay. Mm. Uh, they supporting me, you know, to a point whereby people are thinking I'm even Illuminati now, mm. Mm. you know, mm. which is crazy because here in South Africa, uh, we only know Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're not like Illuminati. Never had celebrities mm. been linked with that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not that we know of uh, till this point. Mm. But, uh, you know, sometimes... That's crazy. When niggas blow up quick, everybody always think it's Illuminati. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get it. Never had celebrities mm. been linked with that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not that we know of uh, till this point. Mm. But, uh, you know, sometimes... They would even giggle at some of these things, and I'd be like, "Oh, I'm asking you this." Uh, and then I, from then I started seeing, "Oh, yeah, yeah they don't take me seriously." Mm. Mm. You know, and then rumors would go around, and you just start feeling the energy around. Yeah, were, yeah, yeah. were they paying you for all the gigs they got you, or were you getting like a monthly salary? So irrespective of how much money you've made for the gigs, they were giving you just an... You were like an employee, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's one of the things I hate, because... You're an employee? Yeah. So like, when you I mean, entertain, how you going to do me like that? So if you, one weekend, would gig maybe five gigs, let's mm. say they're charging one rand, mm. 
That's five rand. You didn't get anything. You just got one S- pound a month. Yeah. For real. For real. Wow. Yeah. And how many yeah. gigs would you say at your peak while there you Dude, were Dude, it's fucking roll up, dog. Bro. It's roll up, dog. Bro. I remember I did six shows in one night. Hey. That night, after that night, my body was fucked. Like I was tired. And I don't get tired. You know, I'm a hustler. Mm, mm. So I'm like, no, man, here I'm working. I'm working too much, man. Mm. You know, but I'm still, I still have to wait for a month and, you know. Do you know, in one gig, you probably made your salary with yeah. one song performance. How much was your salary? Well, uh, it didn't stay the same, I'll let you say. I'm going to say It started how much? Yeah, you know, how much? started young, you know. Uh, I, I ain't going to disclose, like, the exact price, but, like, you know, it was a decent amount, no cap. 50K, 60K. Yeah, I mean, that's empty, decent, starting. Nah, that wasn't the starting. Shit, and you were More thinking at like this time? Less, way less. Ah. Way the damn, so under 20. Yeah. Um, fucking hell, bro. You feel me? And, so, and this was when Roll Up was out already. Yeah. Man, this is, yo, that's criminal, bro. You feel me so And do you know how much you they were in hindsight or do you know how much they were charging for gigs? Dude, they were charging then? like 80, 70, 40. bro. I tried to bro, I want to see bro. Contract. I w- I tried to book him to bro. Summit. I saw job. I'm like, this is too much. Ooh. Wow. He said I tried to book him. They wanted 60, 70, 80, and this nigga wasn't even making that for his salary. I'm trying to tell you, hey, this for any future artists that want to come up, man. Stay independent, man. Just stay independent, because these record labels ripping off unless you're going to sign to Mac and, and Mac showing love. I don't know, but, man, just stay independent, man. This is crazy. Hi, hi. This is crazy. Yeah, you can say hi. Hi, everybody. Let's go. Let's get it. Roll up was out of it. Man, this is, yo, that's criminal, bro. Very you feel me so And do you know how much you they were in hindsight or do you know how much they were charging for gigs? Dude, they were charging like 80, 70, 40. bro. I tried to bro, I want to see a contract. I, w- I tried to book him I saw his job. I'm like, this is too much. God damn could have paid him for the whole month. He said, God damn, I could have paid him for the whole Dude, month. Man, that is cra- So like Do you know I how much you, you were charging then? Let's say after Roll up came out. Do you know how much they were charging f- for you at gigs to promoters and club owners? I don't know how much they were charging. They never told me. But definitely, it was probably way more than your salary. Yeah. Just one gig. Yeah. They never told me. So Yo, certain things weren't criminal. disclosed. Like, I'd ask one thing for two years. Like, ask one question. And I'd be like, ah, yeah, my parents. Must... One thing that I've been gifted with is shutting people off. Like, I won't, like, confront you or all mad and whatever, whatever. Just block you. In my mind, it's done. Yeah. Free game, man. Hey, this is it. Big Hustle out here giving us free game, man. Simple as that. He said, hey, man, don't suffer and waste energy on being mad. Just cut them off. Block them off. Just pull the plug. Pull the plug. Simple as that. Just block you. In my mind... It's done. Yeah. Fuck a contract or whatever the fuck I signed. It's done. It's over. Yeah, but you so, can't say that. In the in, in the court of law, you can't say that. You can't go and stand up in court and say, fuck whatever I signed. Yeah, at the time, that's how I was feeling. Like, so, you know, I know it doesn't apply because yeah. it's, it's a contractual thing, but I mean, that's one of the ways, you know, the folk finesse. But you know what? In 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 hindsight, I think uh, you know, as uh, creators, from one creative to another, we get screwed over all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, it's part of the journey, and that's how you learn. Mm-hmm. I think you know you should be glad that you went through that because now your kids don't have to go through that. Yeah, if they yeah. do decide to be whatever, yeah. it's just heartbreaking because, like, you know, as fans, 
I and myself, we go to shows, we buy your music, supporting you, mm. Gandhi getting screwed over. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Which is a bit disheartening. You know what I'm saying? It is, dog. Yeah. <laughs> so, dude, the when you had that breakup with Ambitious, you lost the house, you lost the cars. When they gave you those cars and that house, what do they say? Do they say, here, yeah, this is your house, it's in your name, don't know how to handle the paperwork. Do they say, you are renting from us, we are landlords. What do they say when they give you all these things? That makes you also believe that no, it's our lizard. Or do you know from the scratch that these are not mine? How do they present them? Well, you know, they present them in a fashion, you know, of, hey, surprise, uh, you know. And me, looking at it, I was just happy, like, hey, just give me a whip. Hey, you happy to get already? Uh, you ready? You happy to get out of Berea, though? Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Gonna be sleeping to gunshots, you know? Yeah. I have uh, I have shelter. I'm no more catching taxis, you know. So at no point you're asking because you're excited. You don't ask the yeah, questions yeah. initially. But at no point you ask, what happens if I beef with these people? Am I gonna lose all these things? That was always at the back of my mind. Yeah. No cap. It was always at the back of my mind. And every time the answer would be yes. I to myself. Yeah, they won't do that. Mm. That's what's going to happen. But the... You're making the, so much money. They yeah, used yeah. to give you, just give you this house even if you break up. So right? when, dating when, a girl. When you started you Aries something. was there, ne? Yeah. Fifi Cooper was there. When I started Aries one day. Oh, who was there? Yeah, Fifi was there. Yeah. Benchmark. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. That was it. So when uh, A. Reese does an interview with Pearl Tusi, mm-hmm. and you see what he's saying about ambitious, because uh, you were still riding for them, mm. is that not like a red flag to say, hey, shit, this nigga might be right? Crazy, because I never seen that interview till this day. Yeah, neither have I, yeah. Maybe because it was kept from me. Mm. I don't know. People, you know, Know how to play their game, man. Yo, people know how to play. But what, what happened? Because he said in the interview that you guys were in a kumbi, and he was telling you that yo, these niggas are fucking us up. Mm. But you were like, nah, I'm gonna ride with them, you know. Mm. Well, for me, that was just me and my belief in them, you know, which which I is pure. Yeah, yeah. Mm. you know, from the heart, like you know. Uh, for me at the time, I didn't want to call, I didn't want to stir no drama, you know. Just trying to do your yeah, shit, feed your family. Yeah, trying to stay in my humble corner there, you know. Because Eddie's can leave. Yeah. Eddie's can leave, he doesn't have kids. Yeah, you, you know, know what I mean? He's not even the cash cow of the company. You feel me? It's he is a kid, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's easier for him yeah. to just, you know, run around, yeah, get mad, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But for me, it's like, yeah, hey, I got to take some steps back and just look at this, you know. So and, now, yeah. So now, when last did you speak to him? Have you spoken to him since you left Ambitious? No. You haven't spoken to him? No. What was the, the lowest point at Ambitious? The lowest point where you're like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. It's crazy because these, uh, these low points all hit at the same time. You know? Because one minute, yeah, whip, house, this. Like, oh, this is what I've been you know, talking to myself about. they doing it. Okay. All right, cool. Peace. Then when I was like, all right, cool. I'm out. I'm out. Because now I would get, I'd get letters now of water and, electric, and electricity bills, this, that, and the third. I'm like, hey. I don't know nothing about this. In their house, right? Yeah. That you're still staying. Here. Yeah. And for me, in my in my right mind, I know this is not my house. So why are these bills coming to me? Because I'm paying the rent. You feel me? You're paying rent? Yeah. Oh, so... Wait, you, you're paying rent in the house that they took. Was that from the the start when you started? When they said surprise, here's a house. Well, it was gradual. 
First it was surprises and apartment in the north. Like, oh, yeah, we going now, okay, you know. Then there was some other things. For me, it was just gratitude, man, like just appreciating all them things that I never had, you know. Mm, yeah, they know you're from Berea, so they know you're just going to be grateful yeah. and ask a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at yeah. Mac over there like, got to be kidding me right now. Mac over there like, you got to be kidding me. How is they playing one of our greatest artists ever in South Africa? Like, stop playing with MT, man. Mac, he peed off. He, sure. He Hectic, man. Oh, oh. So now you're paying the pool guy, the garden service, the electricity. And you, sign up, and you gotta pay that from your monthly salary, which they give you.